that shit, you cross-eyed son of a bitch. You're the cross-eyed son of a bitch. Cross-eyed. <laughs> what, are, what are you doing right now? Taking a vitamin? Okay, that's not a fucking vitamin, don't lie. Sour Patch Kid. Mama! <laughs> Angela told Mark that those are chewable uh, vitamins. I know, right? <laughs> Mm, healthy. I'll eat, I eat a whole bag in one sitting. You look on the back, it has vitamins in them. Mm hmm. I don't think so. Steamed hot dogs and Sour Patch Kids are not considered health food. Mm hmm. I don't know where you live, but over here they are. Dude, I get a lot of anxiety with all these people out there in chat. The chat's just flying by. What should I do for anxiety, Mark? Um. Should I pop one off? Smoke a little meth. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, dude, if I start doing meth, I'll end up like you. <laughs> it's crazy. Mike sells it, you use it, and I just watch you guys t both go down the, the spiral. Are we live yet? Uh, no, we're going to start right now, though. Thank you, Mike. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> We are live. Welcome, everybody. This is the late team, the great team, the motherfucking vape team. Thursday night is upon us. Episode 154. 154. We've been doing this for years, and every single Thursday night, we're back. With me, as always, a gentleman that is sexy as hell. He's got that little Greek thing going on. Yes, he speaks Greek. Yes, he eats Greek. And yes, he fucks like a Greek band. Mikey motherfucking vapes. Good evening, Greg. In the top, doing some sort of a weird hand gesture. A man that's highly medicated and special as hell. We love him. Bulk Hogan, ladies and gentlemen. The Bulk. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. you. You add so much to the show. Thank you. Damn, Thank you. you're actually going to rip that shirt off of you tonight? Dude, I hate this shirt, so... <laughs> Maybe. Just surprise us. Anyway, sorry. Where did where did you get that shirt, Mark? He got, got that from Jay Hayes. I was just gonna say I got it from Jay's closet. <laughs> nice. They're, those shirts are usually a little bit more thin, so I think you're it gonna is. be all right. It's actually mm. Jay signed it too. So, holy shit! Somebody in chat just wrote: in two weeks, the show will be three years old. Wow, that's old. Holy fuck! Wow, we have to have a birthday party. We should have a birthday party. You hear that, Amy? I know you're out there trolling in chat. Why don't you get a birthday cake ready? There you go. There you go. Years fucking old. Holy shit. Yep. Three oh, fucking fuck. years. Yeah. Uh, we have. We got to all get together for us and do the, you know, vape team together for a three year anniversary. Mark, get your plane tickets. We're gonna need you to fly out. <laughs> Jay, Jay just won't fuck you in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> You know damn well he probably has the same shirt in his closet. Jay does definitely have the same shirt. The question is, did Mark go out and buy it because he's influenced by Jay Hayes' style? <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> yep. All right, guys. Well, let's do this. Let's jump down and do... What do you... Oh, oh Lord. Belly shirt. It's a belly shirt. That's why I have to get rid of it. All right, in, go ahead. In that neighborhood in Chicago where you live, isn't aren't belly shirts extremely popular? Yes. Belly shirts and a lot of other things. Nice. All right, let's do it. Was there a little like clip that just played? 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're supposed to ignore that. Oh, I didn't. I don't even know it's playing, but I'm taking a guess that it plays. So, what does the clip say or do? Because I've never watched the replay before. This is like buffet time. <laughs> yeah, he hasn't watched it. So what, what you, like? what do you, so what do you just like take that third nap of the day, sleep in five minutes before the show, hop on, don't prepare, never watch the replay, never read comments, never get involved with the vape team chat and Facebook group, never really do anything other than serve I, your fucking self, Mark. You know, I believe when we came in this room, you were the one that was not prepared. Actually, the first thing I think you said to me was, I'm never prepared. No, what I said was I could get here two hours ahead of time spend the entire time preparing for the show, and I'm still not prepared. There so you how you do it in five minutes before the show starts, I have no idea. I'm a professional. Well, go ahead, professional. It's your buffet time. Let's see All this right. magic. Mike, don't help him. You want to play that? Yeah, I'll fine. I'll do it. I'll do it again. It... Yes? A shout-out to Vinny Vapes. Donation from Mr. Vinny Vapes. Thank you. Hey there, Vinny! Hey, Vincenzo! <laughs> hey! Stay busy. Right. Sucking dicks behind the dumpster. Oh, don't say right. ready. Mark. <laughs> All right, ready? I'm going to play the little clip for you now for your buffet. Here we go. Ready? Go. They can't see you while it's playing, Mark. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? There you go. But, Time is yours, Mark. Let's hit let's see the buffet, Mark. Here we go. This is this. Disaster. <laughs> I joy Avenger. I joy call Alexa. I joy call nine one one. Uh, with the I guess the Avenger sub home tank on top. I have no idea the name of the tank. Oh shit! It's not at all fucking over. The um, don't say it. In a kin. Dun dun. Pro proton. It's not the proton. <laughs> I'm gonna say it without looking at the mod. The sea biscuit. The sea biscuit, the Anakin sea biscuit, <laughs> <laughs> the chroma, the Zeus duel on the blade. There we go. I can remember that one. Um, mm, what is this thing called? I don't know. The Smo ant pod system, pod system, and this mech mod with the drop. I don't know the name of the mech mod. Hold on. Where's the fucking case at? I thought it was the Bubushka. It is the babushka, but I think the guy <laughs> like me calling it the babushka because he emailed me earlier. I don't know. Speaking of emails, we have that to talk about a little oh, bit later, too. Banana patty. Banana patty? Yeah. That's what it looks like, banana patty, don't No, it, it says bananas patty. Wow, it's really called the bananas patty? <laughs> yes. All right, well, the bananas patty with the drop. <laughs> uh, juices... We got some Cloud Chemist Loopy Science. We got some Mercy Vape Stash Blueberry Cheesecake. We got some of the Paradigm Saturn. We got some. This is uh, Naked, the Patriot, whatever the fuck, tobacco, Nick Salt. And there was one more. I don't know where the fuck it's at, but um, yeah, that's it. Hoo, hoo. Got some peanut butter Dunkin' Donuts coffee. <coughs> What the fuck is peanut butter Dunkin' Donuts coffee? Peanut butter Girl Scout cookie. They have that? Yes, it's delicious. Mike, do you have peanut butter Girl Scout Dunkin' Donuts? No, I just straight up coffee. I don't need donuts in my coffee or Girl Scout cookies, actually. I'm sorry. Peanut so butter. Amy just messaged me and she said, not bananas, it's banas. Banas? Yeah. Bananas sounds better, though. Yeah, I think banana. <laughs> banana banana Dude, patty at the supermarket that i go to every time you scan or like put in like vegetables all of a sudden whatever the the little machine voice is she fucking yells at you but she's like banana and it's like very uncomfortable it, it like goes through the whole store but anyway i go food shopping like once a year the, the banana patty comes with a throat slicing tool Ooh. <laughs> this fucking thing will fucking stab you ah uh, uh. So yeah, what's, That's what's it. it's the jugular? All right, so what am I vaping on? I am vaping on. Do let's see the Aspire <laughs> feed the Aspire feed link. Wait a mod minute, with the Watofo recurve on top, a little recurve action. I'm also vaping on. Wait a minute, what? 
You're not going to interrupt me. Mark. I'm, right. I'm going to put you in timeout. I'm also will... vaping on... I'm going to have to take Xanax before the show, I think. I really <laughs> I really think that it might turn to that. Go, ahead. go, go, go. The Ten Veritube up. RGX 480, and this is the Renegade from Veritube. Okay? I'm also vaping on the Blade 200 by Geek Vape and also the Zeus... RTA dual or the dual RTA from my uh, geek vape the, the Zeus with the two coils I'm also vaping on the dreamer with the Aquitas on top Yeah and Juices this evening. I am vaping on Saturn peanut butter custard, which is absolutely awesome This is from out of this world. It's kind of hard to see it in there, but it does say out of this world now it's for from Paradigm, isn't it? Yeah, par, par, yeah, it's from Paradigm, but it's not Paradigm. It's out of this world Saturn peanut butter custard. But if you like Wait. peanut butters and you like custard, you're gonna love this. So is that a line they just make under their name? I guess maybe Paradigm is the 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 big mothership, and then underneath it there's little ships, and the little ships have littler ships, and everybody has ships. I don't know, man. You're confusing me now. But I'm also vaping on a little bit of blueberry cheesecake from Emergency Vape Stash. Emergency Vape Stash blueberry cheesecake. And I think that is it for tonight. Oh, and as always, a little bit of drop with the SQ on top. There's not so a there build there. Ready? Nope. Wow. That's was cotton on fire. I'm disappointed. Dude, you're... You, uh, give Mike, it to Mike. Give Mike, it to Mike. I'm going to give it to you, Mike. Go ahead. <laughs> you guys are fucking hilarious. All right. Hi, Mooch. Help me. Let's dive down. Dive down. Okay. Buffet. Pods for the night. <laughs> Vaping on the iCub and the Infinix. Okay. Vaping on B2K. On the Slay SQBX. Also vaping on this new mechanical mod here called the Turon. The Turon, I think that's the way you pronounce it. I got the Aquitas RDA on top of that. Get back over there. Also vaping on the DNA 250C Finder with the Drop RDA. Zeus Duel on the V-Boy. Recurve on the Limelight Gloom. Recurve on SQ. I'm, I'm going to vape all this shit during the show. Yes, you will. <laughs> Paranormal <laughs> with the Mage V2. GRS I think that's what it's called, right? GRS, RDA, on the Renegade. RGX. Yeah, it's right there. See it? RGX. Yeah. I'm just showing it. I don't need to say it. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Yes, liquids I'm vaping on is this, 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 this. What else? Oh, that's the way to do it right there. This, this, <laughs> that. And uh, a little bit of that. <laughs> there you go. Oh, this. What else am I vaping on? I think that's. Oh, got to put these liquids in there too. I'm vaping on some of that too. In one pod, and I'm vaping that one there, and the other pod. There <laughs> you go. That's what I'm vaping on tonight. Thank you. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We're going to have to have like a, a pre-roll that I'm going to make up, like a scroll that I'll push a button when you go, and it'll just have all the different things you're vaping on scroll next to you. There we go. All right, Mark, good look for you. Thank you. So what's up, everybody? Hello, everybody out there in chat. Good evening. Welcome to the vape team. It is another week for us. Uh, this week, we're going to spend a little bit of time looking at, because I know everybody out there is wondering, how is the Zeus? The Zeus from Geek Vape, because everybody loved the single coil Zeus. And uh, this evening, we're going to dive down and we're going to show you what makes the Zeus 
dual coil because it's the dual version and uh, we're going to break it down a little bit i actually have one built that i've been vaping on for the past 24 hours and uh we have another one that's not built and we're just going to talk about it and show you it off a little bit and oh, yeah. do you want to do that first how do you want to structure this do you want to do that yeah, first do or first i could do a dive down right now all right let's drive down all the box you know it's interesting that i kind of just thought about what's that it's also a single coil it is a single coil so does it kind of take the place of the original one? Not necessarily. For a single coil, though, you have to build a bigger diameter coil, obviously. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So so there we go. There's the packaging for the Zeus. By the way, if you want a more detailed review, you guys can check out my video. It's on YouTube for the Zeus. So there we go. We have a little baggie here. comes with uh, a regular 810 drip tip inside there. A 510 drip tip, a 510 drip tip adapter, a bunch of extra O-rings, and uh, four sc extra screws, and a tri-tool. you got a spare glass. And then inside here, they got these weird-ass coils that they gave with it. And then we have the RTA. There we go. There's the Zeus. There. A little bit more light there. The Zeus. Four mLs of liquid. Now, as a different option, you could buy a bubble glass for it, and it makes it 5.5 mLs of e-liquid. Uh, I actually talked to Geek Bait Band. They, uh, last minute, they just couldn't put it in the package through the oh, bubble they're glass. Not, they're not going to put it in there? No, they can't. They said because they already started manufacturing it. and so. But it's for sale. Guess how much? $1. Oh, that's it? Yeah, so yeah, they basically putting it for $1, so this way... People want it, they could buy it for an okay. extra buck. I think it's well worth the purchase for it. Hell yeah, you know. So we have that eight eight ten style drip tip, but it's got it where it covers up this piece here, so it kind of camouflages it. Or you could just put the regular eight ten drip tip on there, just to show you guys what it looks like with the regular eight ten. It'll be like that. We have our top fill, which is. There we go. Yeah, that was a little hard to open up. But there you go, top fill. Build deck. You can see there, it is a postless build deck. Airflows come right through here. So when you're building this, try and build it up a little bit higher coils, but not too high. So this way you're getting that bottom effect airflow. Because if you have it too low, the airflow is going to bypass the coil, it just graze it on the side, and it'll mute your flavor. And then for wicking on this, I do not recommend putting your wicking inside the holes. Oh, you didn't do? You didn't put yours in the hole? No, do not oh. put it in the holes. Just put it right up to there. Just let it sit right there because what happens is if you put it inside, it's too long. It just takes a little bit longer for that liquid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Climb up the cotton, and if you're running a little bit higher wattage, it might not be able to keep up with you. So uh, that's what I've been doing. I just put it right up to there, as as if there was just a straight platform. Yep. On it. When I first started yeah. putting mine in there, Mike, I, I stuffed it down in and sort of thinned the cotton, and it wasn't keeping up at the wattage yeah. that I wanted. And then I pulled it back out, snipped it, and then laid it over. Yep, that's what happened with me. Yep. Well, I fucked my video up. Good yeah. job, Mark. <laughs> it's it's well, look, you, it's still going to work. It all depends on if, how high of wattage you're vaping. It's still going to keep up. It's just that if you're vaping at a higher wattage or if you're chain vaping it, it ain't going to keep up. Put it all the way down. If you're not chain vaping it, you're fine. Mark, what was the uh, res what's the resistance you have on your coils that are in there? Did you use the coils that came with it? 0. 0.12, no. Okay, 0. 0.12. What wattage are you at? uh 80 watts okay so you're i'm a 0.15 and i'm at 90 watts this is where your airflow comes in through right inside here all around here your airflow yeah it's pretty neat the way they did that so it's like you have a chimney inside a chimney so it is a compressed chimney you can see there so when you're looking at this whole piece up top this is not your actual chimney to say, oh, look how huge it is. You know, your coils are actually going to be sitting right inside this area right here. 
which is about right over here somewhere. I'd love the finish on it too. I think it looks awesome. Yeah, I definitely want black. Yep. I, I'm definitely going to get the black on this one. So if you were to compare it to something that's been out on the market that you enjoy, what do you think the closest comparison would be? The way it vapes, the way it builds? Uh, it vapes almost like the Themis, but I think it vapes better than the Themis. Airflow-wise, this is better than the Themis. The Themis, when you cut down, had a lot of airflow, and when you cut down the airflow on the Themis, it fucking it made a horrible noise. Yeah, this, this is one not... here doesn't. And I like to vape this one here about right there. You could actually see I have my airflow cut down. That's why I've been vaping it. You know, I was curious, Mike. Um, I don't have the original Zeus. Mm -hmm. I gave him away. Does that glass fit? Does that, will that bubble glass fit on the original, do you know? I didn't check because, obviously, I have liquid in there. Okay. You know? so I know somebody asked in chat if they're going to make a bubble glass for the original, but... But I could, I, could, I could test out this glass... Yeah, if I mean, if that one fit. fits on there, then that means the bubble glass should fit. It's the same. Exactly. So I'll check right now, actually. We'll do yeah. it live. Live on the vape better. team. I just got to find the Zeus. If we can get a bubble glass for the single, that'd be pretty sweet. Yeah, I, I think bubble glass is good for most things. The only thing I always worry about is, like, knocking my mod over and having the glass crack. But for the most part, I like it. Like, in the reload, it makes a huge difference, so you don't have to fill it up all the time. Mm -hmm. Um. Someone in chat said the price of the bubble glass went up to four fifty. Really? You gotta on, click on the bubble glass. On is it on all sites or just that particular site that you're looking at there, sir? Oh, Geek Vape said no, it won't fit. Geek Vape, I guess, is in chat. Yeah, Geek Vape <laughs> is in chat. Oh, okay, good. They saved me time. Yeah, they won't fit. I don't know what, what I did with the Zeus. Oh sure. shit! Look, the Zeus was here this whole time, right in front of me. Here we go. That is smaller. It looks a little smaller, right or no? Mm. It's, yep, it's different size. Oh, okay. All right. It looks smaller. The tank does in general. Hmm. Yeah, it's got to sit inside there. No, it ain't going to fit. Yeah, it's not. Nope. Geek Vape hmm. knows. The one thing I always wish that manufacturers would do a little bit better job, I wish on their websites they would have a section where they would sell right away from the time that a product launches, like extra parts and pieces and screws and posts for people that have issues that come up and they want to buy replacements, like once it's out of warranty. Um, a lot of people always complain like, oh, you know, I need an O-rings or I need, you know, all the different little parts. It would be cool if they would sell them separately on the website for people that want them. I know I get a lot of comments about that on a lot of things. I think like websites or manufacturers that actually sell from their site do because I know like Coil Art today, when I was looking at the Mage V2, they sell all the extras needed for their atomizers. So I don't know. I think if you sell directly from the site, maybe. Hmm. Um, Lepe seventy seven. Try a different site because I know Heaven Gifts always is kind of expensive. Heaven Gifts. If you click on. The bubble glass. You have to click on the bubble glass. It comes. It says a dollar five. Okay. You have to click on the bubble glass. That's what I saw first. When I saw four oh five, and then I clicked on the bubble glass, and it said a dollar five. Yeah, this is much bigger. Yeah. Not gonna work. Nope. 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 Yeah, I was a little disappointed they were including it, but if they're going to sell it for a buck, then fuck. That's better than having to pay full price, so no complaints really there. I mean, because you're, if you're buying the RTA and you could just add it on for a dollar, then what the hell? It's, only yeah. a buck. it's better to have it. Behind me in the, in the shelves that I have back here, uh, I have separate drawers for, like, my favorite RTAs. I always have spare glass in a certain drawer for a certain RTA, spare parts. You know, I keep everything organized that way. So if anything ever breaks or gets dropped, I don't have to wait to have something shipped, you know, which always takes a while. <clears throat> so let me ask you guys a question. So you get new stuff in the mail. 
what's do you do, do every single time do you guys clean them and wash them oh yeah you have to wash this stuff you don't know where it's been whose hands it touched i wash everything i well, break it apart throw in the ultrasonic cleaner what do you, what soap do you use in the ultrasonic cleaner or do you just use warm water joy dish soap right i'll yep. put yep I'll put like one or two little drops inside there, and then when the hot, I just put hot water inside, it just bubbles up. Throw the tank inside there. That's it. Yeah, that's what I do too. I had two stainless steel ultrasonic cleaners. They both broke over like a six month period. Yeah, but... drop money and buy an actual good one this time. I think. What was it, Coil Master that had one? That thing was. That thing was did not no. hold up. No. Uh, the one I got, I've had it for three years. Did you? Right? Holy shit. Over three years, and you guys see the amount of shit I fucking have reviewed. Yeah. How much stuff I have put through that. I put a lot of stuff through there, and that's it's still working. Bought it off of Amazon, and it's not one that makes, it doesn't heat up the water for you. What I do is I put hot water from the sink. Yep. I just make sure it's nice piping hot. I put it inside there, and then I let it run. You, know, you don't need to put uh, something that heats up water or boiling water in it because nowadays, it ain't like it used to be before when we used to get products and it was just drenched in uh, machine oil. The stuff ain't really drenched. It's hard to even find stuff that have machine oil on it nowadays, you know? Yeah, now it's just still have to clean them. Yeah, there's always that smell like it was just freshly painted, and you, you always get that chemical smell when you open up the container. So definitely you want to rinse and wash out your stuff. Plus, a lot of times, like, you'll have maybe, like, little tiny pieces of metal that you want to be careful of. You don't want to be inhaling that kind of stuff. That's what I'm always worried about, little metal shavings. Yep, yep getting lodged in my lungs. Because, like, when you watch these – like, when I used to watch the videos from uh, Pisardo in China – one thing you would never see are like ultrasonic cleaners. You'd never see none of the shit clean. You'd just see it on the conveyor belt being made, then go into the box. Like you never seen like a cleaning process, or at least I never seen it. Yep. Mike, what are we looking at here? Oh, I just squonked the liquid all the way up past the coil. You know? No leaking. No leaky leaky. Have a vape. I think the one thing that people are going to be really impressed with, uh, with the recurve, is the smooth airflow. I think people are going to be like, "Whoa, that's I'll really." Do we'll do it one more time for everybody. Let's do an ultra zoom in. Ultra zoom in. I love how when Mike does it, it works perfectly. But if I was showing off something, it would pour out of the air holes. I've done this on camera, I don't even know, over 10 times already on camera. Love the shape of it. Ultra zoom in. It's been really hard for the past. Like I think Watofo visited my house back in January, like early January. And I got the first prototype for the recurve, and I did a lot of testing with it with Mike and like just giving him feedback and stuff like that. And it was so hard to come on the vape team every week and not talk about it. <laughs> like I always wanted to, like it would be on a mod, and I'd be like, "I'm vape." Oh, wait a minute, mm -hmm. you know, having to pull back away. But for single coil man, the flavor is unbelievable. It handles a ton of power to it. It's perfect for these little squonk devices, single battery squonkers. But you can even put it on something more powerful, and it it handles it. And Going with the stainless steel is was such a great decision in my opinion. It just feels so solid and the quality is just ridiculous on this thing. I think people are gonna love it. Yeah. Can I, I ask I, there's no way I wanted aluminum. Can I ask the ultimate question? Sure, Mark. What's better, the recurve or the drop solo? Dun dun dun, 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 dun. <laughs> You know um, damn well that question is going to pop up every motherfucking where. I don't think so because the drop solo is a 22 millimeter RDA and this is a 24 millimeter RDA. So. Oh, I can just see it now. I can fucking feel it. Do what I would do. Just ignore the question. <laughs> you can't if ignore the question when the guy on your fucking show is the one asking it. Uh, buy both and figure it out yourself. <laughs> That's what I would say. Like, buy both and figure it out. Yeah. yeah. 
It's not going to break the bank. I, I, I will say this, that if you run out today and buy this and you get it, I guarantee you're not going to be unsatisfied because the vape's fucking awesome. Period. I mean, the flavor's so that, amazing. If somebody purchases the recurve, should they bother purchasing the drop solo when it comes out? If they're satisfied, no. I think they should. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. You're welcome. I'm trying to start trouble. I know you are. How about the Fagin Fuckboy? Should people buy that? Hell no. Do not buy it. Dude, I can't wait till Mark's shit comes out. He's going to be done with. It's going to be ugly. There's going to be battles. Oh, man. I ain't going to send my shit to nobody. People are going to have to wonder. I'm going to forbid for certain people from buying it. You're going to have to show ID in order to buy it. Brian Nichols said the hazers are taking over the vape team comments. I have fucking... Um... Jay Hayes put a hammer to my uh, recurve. I saw on Instagram. Yep. Here we go. His, his review goes up, uh, what do you say, in three hours? I think he said one in the morning. His video is going up. Why one in the morning? Put that shit up like at 11. Tonight. Oh. Heat gun? Because it's 1 p.m. in China, and he's trying to appeal to that demographic group. That's <laughs> 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 up earlier. Yep. Mark's RDA is going to be called the Bulk. Is that true, Mark? It's going to be called the Little Helmet. <laughs> Little Helmet Bulk. Dude, what did you do today, man? It, what did what I do today? Doing with the what? Mage RTA, the new airflow technique that you have testing. Oh, out the new airflow tool? That's my new... Uh, oh, little, my God. My little gauge I made. It tests all the airflow and all the atomizers. It works pretty well. I get an accurate reading. What's uh, it, what is it, a hospital tool for COPD? <laughs> it looks like a penis, but it works. Everybody got to go and watch fucking Fagan's review for the mage. That's all I got to say. <laughs> well, Coilar didn't message me and complain, so it's a good thing. They're probably horrified. <laughs> well, it's early. To remember, it's like, what is it like? It's in the morning right now there. So oh. you're looking at it right now, horrified. <clears throat> oh, my God. <laughs> On a lighter note, out of the drama and uh, controversy arena, Mark, why don't you uh, talk a little bit about the drama and controversy f from that post you put up earlier about the uh, message you received? Oh, I Let's talk about the, it. So I reviewed the, whatchamacallit, the fucking V-Fire from ALD Amaze. And, I thought I had a different name. Oh, the shit stick. But I guess they didn't like the video, which I knew they weren't going to like. And rather than, I don't know, they just sent me an email saying that if I didn't take the video down, that they would contact their lawyer and he would be sending a letter very shortly. So I'm like, it's my opinion. That's all it is. Like if, when you send a product out for review, you're saying, sending it out to get someone's opinion. You're not sending it to me for testing because they said, well, why didn't you contact us to let us know these problems? I'm like, well, there, there wasn't any problems. It's just a piece of shit device. There's nothing you could fix. You have to redesign the entire thing. Yeah. I'm like, if I was testing it, fine. I would have contacted you, but I'm not testing it. I'm reviewing it as it is, and it's already out. So even if there was, was something wrong with it, what are you going to do about it? Nothing. So I'm like, it's only it's one review out of how many have been done. So it's one opinion against however many others. But I guess they were extremely hurt about it and... I might have a little Chinese lawyer knocking on my door in the morning. Hello? They have a you aside? We need to talk. Okay. Probably. Mark? <laughs> Mark? Mark? You know microwave vapes? <laughs> microwave? <laughs> microwave. Is uh, microwave in there for you? I, I think that the, the pulling the lawyer card and threatening to sue you is absolutely ridiculous, and that shouldn't stand. We should really make a precedence of this because as soon as we allow that to happen or they do that, it's it's curtains for them. You can't be threatening reviewers to not be able to say with their honest opinion about products. How many products have we received that there was problems with the product, and then all of a sudden two weeks later, because by the time the reviewers get products, that thing's already finalized. That thing's getting ready to be released to the public. So what you're doing is you're actually doing your job, which is why people watch you, to say what's wrong with something so people can decide not to buy it. And that's the purpose of the review there, to begin it's with. It's different between if there was a problem with it, like an issue, then I would contact them. But if there wasn't an issue with it, it was just poorly made, poorly designed. There's a difference. So that's why, you know, and I did, they said, how did I, you know, they always email me like, oh, how do you like it? I'm like, 
honestly, it's really bad. And they never got back to me. So I'm like, all right, well, here we go. But I don't know. Every now and then there's always that company that gets really butt hurt. And I, I just, I don't know. I find it confusing that they haven't seen the other companies that have tried to do that and what the outcome was. Like, it doesn't end good for them. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, honestly, I can give two shits. <laughs> So uh, Jay Hayes says that he is an awesome lawyer to contact if you have problems like that. I would not spend a dime on a lawyer trying to defend myself against a Chinese company with a shitty ass product. Not even worth, not even worth it. I'm not even worried or nothing. What are they going to do to me? Nothing. Not a damn now, now, if you want reviewers to test products before you're, they're finalized, then contact them prior and set up an arrangement where they're paid to test products and not do reviews on the products so that you can fix these issues. And that's exactly what I said. I'm like, if you guys in the future, if you come out with new products, if you want me to test them for you, test the prototype, I will be happy to test them. But you sent it for review, and that's exactly what you got was a review. Yep. I'm Dude, I... Follow. M right. Mark, I think on the show from now on, we should just have Mike in the bottom window, just going through all of his vape shelves and just opening and <laughs> going through all the devices that he has in his in his vape cave down there. Is he doing like a battery fit thing, yep. or what's he doing with the batteries here? He's showing off the first of all the new vape cell, which is yeah, unbelievable. Baby. The best twenty one seven hundred right now. Yep. Confirmed by Mooch. This is the Samsung. Uh, God, what is it? The forty T. I think it's the 40T. It's a 35 amp battery. Yep. So, are the Samsungs more expensive than those batteries, I would assume, right? Or we don't know. Like, why does a company rewrap it with a an unknown, like, shitty wrapper as opposed to, like, what benefit do they get from it? I guess it's branding and it's creating a brand for their company and then for people that are not knowledgeable about batteries and don't check out Battery Mooch, they wouldn't know that the battery is actually not made, manufactured by that company and they're just making money off of it. Oh, okay. 30T. My bad, 30T. Yeah, the 30T. 30T. There you go. Fucking hits nice. Single coil. Uh, battery Mooch says the 40T is 4,000 ma. Could you imagine dual 40Ts? That's a ridiculous amount of uh, battery life on that. When I think dual 40 T's, I think of a cup size. Is there like a teacup? I don't think there's a teacup. <laughs> I got dual 40 T's for you, baby, right here. The only oh. teacup is the testicle cup for two bowls. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. Dual 40 Dude, T's. Look at that finish on that thing. That's pretty dope. That's the th is that the think vape? Yep. Very sexy. You want to milk these dual forty T's or thirty T's? Yeah, Brian, you keep looking at chat too fucking much. I'm, uh, no, actually, my fucking screen is right here that I'm looking at, and you're staring at it. No, it's 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 Mike's screen. I'm looking at what Mike's showing off at the bottom. What do you guys think of this Mac? I think it looks pretty badass. Is it a Russian mech or what? One is thing it? about it, the button actually sits out. Yeah. But it's internal pressed. Like, this isn't the outside part. I mean. Does it fire on its own weight no. or not? No. It won't fire because it's, it's the whole thing doesn't go in. This part doesn't. Just this. Oh, seat. that middle piece. Okay. That's kind of weird, actually. Yeah. But the button in here, it's fucking crazy what they've done, the way they designed this. There's a ball bearing and a spring in there. It's crazy. Hmm. Why they did it, yeah. Video coming very soon for this. But the finish on this thing. Okay. And it's like, well, it's not like this mech I got, but I didn't know. I thought this mech was from Times Vape because it says Times Vape on the box. Let me show the box. Maybe somebody in chat has heard of this fucking mech, but I have not heard of it. See, there's so I thought it was from Times Vape, but I guess not. The banana parte? It is from Times Vape, Mark. It's Times Vape. Ultima is the sub company, and then that's the the name of the mod of the, of the mechanical mod. So is this like a collaboration ordeal here? Yes. Ah, okay. 
Yeah, Times Vape's actually doing the manufacturing for it, probably, if I'm not mistaken. So this is a 2700 or an 18650. It's one of those deals where you got to screw the hybrid cap on first. Yep. And then the button, you got to put the battery in through the top because the button is kind of fixed. Well, not really fixed, but all the internals go in through the bottom. Oh, I see. So it comes out when you open it. Yeah. Do you like that or do you like it to have have it be all one piece that comes off? I'm just so used to putting batteries in through the bottom. Like I, you know, prefer, I don't know. The button's a little kind of stiff, but the copper is really nice. I'm not usually a fan of copper, but this copper is really nice. What are we looking at down there, Mike? The Vesuvius from Russia. Vesuvius. Vesuvius. <laughs> Dude, I have this weird thing, and it's probably only me, but every time I vape a mech mod and I put it to my face and I start vaping, in my brain, I'm imagining like the mod blowing up in my face and me blacking out. <laughs> and you're going to be that guy that's in the hospital with the camera in his face getting pictures taken on the cover of Newsweek? Like every time I vape a mech mod, I can't help but think about like. Boom! Just as I'm vaping it. For no fucking reason. As long as you make sure your batteries are proper and the build's right and you understand everything and there's no tears or anything, you know. Yeah, everything's good. I just get paranoid with fucking mech mods for some reason. Yeah. For some reason, I was thinking of a Queen song when Mark was singing the Vesuvius song. Was that what was inspiring you? Could be. Look well, at Mike showing off the pulse. The p -p -p -pulse -pulse. So, Mike, let's ask a controversial question. I don't know if you're willing to answer it or not. So you have the original Pulse, and you have the, the one with the gene chip, and you have this one. Uh -huh. what, what do you feel the difference is? Have you noticed any difference in the way they vape? Uh, I vape it only in power mode. That's what I vape. Right. And it fucking it hits beautiful. There you go. Uh, temperature control mode, I've tried stainless steel. Temp control, eh, it's okay. But, uh, yeah, I don't vape TC. I don't <coughs> think many people do this. There's people that still vape temperature control, but the majority don't. We did a poll in the vape team group about how many people vape temperature control every day, how often they do it, how important is that feature. And it was like 95% of people said that it wasn't important to them, but sometimes they use it. Yeah. So. I mean, with uh, the DNA 250C, mm -hmm. I don't see a reason why anybody's going to use temperature control anymore. I mean... That's just kind of awesome. See, what I like, what I, I'm not meaning to change the topic here, but what I hate about mods that have that kind of removable hybrid top cap. So when I put my drop cap on here, I have to turn it and push it in order for it to lock down. And as I'm doing that, I continue to tighten down that thing as it's crushing my battery. So there's really no right. The only way to do this, either perfectly lining up the first time around. I'll tell you how to do it, though. You know what I mean? I'll tell you how to do it. Make sure you're, you're make sure the cap. Take the, if you take the RDA off the mech mm -hmm. on a build stand, put it all together, tighten it, make sure it's in place, and then that piece that goes on top of the mech, take it out, screw it onto your onto the RDA, and screw it all in. Well, no, what I mean is, like, when you, if you remove the the top cap, the drip. Why? Oh, you do I that? Remove the, yeah, I remove the top cap sometimes, the drip. I just fucking but dump liquid in that RDA. Yeah, I usually do, but sometimes I like to look at the cotton to see what's going on. But with that kind of hybrid top cap, it's... Yeah, solid. I usually, I don't, I don't like those kind of the top caps that unscrew out. That's the one thing, like, with the Sabone, the Sabone Mex, this, the same thing. Yeah, yeah. I don't... That's the one thing I don't like. I don't like when mechs have that top like that. There's too much shit in it now. It's... I always feel the most safe when the top and the bottom opens. Just so that if I need to split it real quick, either way, if I'm like getting yeah. nervous and I just grab whatever side because it's getting hot or whatever, I can just pop it real quick from either side. Or from the middle. That's one thing I loved about the uh, the original, what's it called? US-1? The US-1, yeah. 
because the US one just splits like. See, and now I can't get the the cap out of there. So if I use this, I'm worried about this this touching the fucking top of the battery or the bottom of the battery. Even though it probably won't. I don't know if it'll do anything if it's, the button's not making contact. But still, just the fact of doing that. No, you'll be fine. It's not making contact. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're not making contact. Now, if you're pressing a button and doing that, yeah, you're going to... Some damage right there. That's what it's called, hybrid discs. I'm uh, not a fan of those, too. Hybrid discs, there you go. Yeah, those are a pain in the ass. You know what I used to do? It's pretty stupid, but I did it. I used to use these to put in the two holes on the hybrid disc to spin it. Yeah, that's oh, why. Perfect, I, yeah. And then I'd end up snapping the tips off of them. Oh, yeah. Because they're ceramic, but like this, I have it too. I this I don't use this for pinching coils. This has come in handy for just all kinds of vape situations using this. But see, I would feel safer with the ceramic tips than I would this fucking yeah. steel thing right here. Yep. Be honest with you, Randall Trogdon. Daniel's test showed the Vandy fired faster. Really? Yeah. I'll tell you one thing about the the pulse mod is that I have uh, tanks that I vape at a certain wattage. So I know how it hits, and I've taken it and I've put it at that same wattage on the pulse, and the pulse actually felt like it hit harder. Wattage. So, for power wise, it's perfect, and it fires right away too. Uh, the only thing is when it, it is asleep, it falls asleep. You know what I'm saying? The mod is sleeping, but as soon as you press the fire button. I mean, you could vape, but it takes like a, a little bit. You know what I'm saying? It's wake a little up. to wake it up. So basically, when you grab, if once it's, but then when it's activated and you're vaping, it hits fucking right away, very fast. When do you know how many minutes after it goes to sleep? I think, uh, I don't know, five minutes. Five minutes. I think it is, but it doesn't lock the device or shut down. It's just the board goes to sleep. Was it like that one mod where you had to click it once and then click it again to start vaping? No, it'll still vape, but it doesn't. It's just a, such you don't. You're not gonna really notice it. You can put it that way. But after it's activated, after like your second, third hit of whatever, then it just hits instant. Okay. Which, you know? A lot of people were talking in chat about temperature control. Some people use it. A lot of people say they use it for dry hit. You know, obviously awesome. to avoid dry head protection. And some people also like to vape when they're driving and they're not always paying attention of how wet their, you know, their uh, atomizer is. So they're always double checking to make sure the tank's not empty or the RDA is not dry. See, I never bought that, though. Like, even me being like the, the biggest idiot in vaping, I could still detect when I'm vaping, when the coil's getting dry or when my tank's empty or when the RDA is getting dry. Like, I've never needed temp mode to tell me that. I think that like the better I got at wicking, the less my uh, wicks would get burnt when I got dry, more dry. Like when when, I, when my wick game was pretty weak in the beginning, they always dry hit. But nowadays it never happens. I mean, I can vape it till it's like white, and yeah, it doesn't yeah, burn. Exactly. Same here. Like you could taste it, kind of the flavor kind of dying off, and you can kind of taste when it's time to. Don't start. you think it's because people are wicking too loose? No, I think too tight. Think like too tight. I, the I got looser and my wicking got better. I mean, not too loose, but ever since I started combing the ends and getting all the knots out, like my wicking has been like. You gotta comb out your cotton. Yeah, that's why. Like some people lately have been saying that you don't want to comb your cotton, and I'm sorry, but like for me, yeah, it, it makes a huge difference for me. It just works. Yeah, like Brian said, I can vape my cotton like completely white, mm -hmm. perfect. So I gotta redrip. Yep. <clears throat> All right. So, so ten fifty two. We're doing. Uh, we're announcing last week's. We had a giveaway last week, right? From yes, Facebook? we did have a giveaway. Uh, no, we're not doing chat giveaways anymore. After, like, com we're not doing comment giveaways in the comment section after the replay anymore. We're right. only doing live chat giveaways. So we already yeah. did the giveaway from last week, and the person was already mailed. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. Mm. So, Mark. We're doing chat giveaway then, right? We're doing chat giveaway. So everybody, get your X1s, X1s going. Chat. 
X ones that shit if you want to get in. We're doing giveaways. How many we're giving away? We're giving away tonight. We're giving away one of the Geek Vape Zeus duels. One of the uh, duels from uh, Geek Vape Zeus duels from Geek Vape. Mm -hmm. So you guys get the X ones rolling, and we're gonna pick a winner. This can be anywhere in the entire world. Yes. And Mark, don't even say it. North Korea. There we go. Dude, you can't say everywhere in the world and not include North Korea. So you might want to ask Geek Vape if that includes North Korea. Why don't you contact Geek Vape and ask them that question if it's so important to you? I think they're watching the show. Geek Vape, does that include North Korea? Oh, look at Mark. I love how you're concerned about your North Korean friends. You never know. Do you think we have a, You know what? Why don't you check the analytics for the vape team and see how many people, if it's even listed... From North Korea, watch the show, please. Check your own channel. Yeah, check your own channel. Mark, go ahead and check your show. We'll wait. Go ahead, check. It'll take me an hour to find it. I just want to put this out there, by the way. This is Spire. I fucking love it. It's really, really, really nice, man. Very, you know, the, very uh, impressed. The one you got and the one Mike got look badass. The one I got looks like someone spray painted it with the fucking. I don't like this all chrome one. No. Oh, but that one you got looks fucking beautiful. It's a nice mod, don't get me wrong. Yeah, that one looks nice. Yep. I love this little fire button that they have on there, the feel to it. When you click it, it's like... Mm -hmm. It's pretty sweet. All right, Mark, get in there and get working. Stop looking at that I, shit. I'm, dude, I've been ready before you even announced it. No, you weren't. You got to grab people's names now. Don't do it from the beginning. I already did just now. I'm quick. I don't move slow like you do, Brian. I got my shit fucking... My All right, game. so move your fucking quick ass and get that shit going. I'm All waiting. Right, I'm go. waiting for you. Pick a number, hot shot. All right, I'm going to pick a number. Two. <laughs> okay, here we go. Do, 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 do. Number two is blank. Let's go back and re-randomize. Pick another number. Uh, two. Oh, Keep on doing yeah. two, man. Two, two, okay. Two, the winner is... Oh, blank. Let's go back and re-randomize. Right, 22. Just do 22. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Blank. Let's go back. Re-randomize. 222. 222. Uh, we might ask. Oh, no, we don't. That was 221. All right. Next. Here we go. I'm, I'm not picking anymore. Just, do, just do two. Two? Keep on go. doing number two until we hit some. We got a winner. Jesse, ooh, Heidenrich. Hey, Jesse Heidenrich. H e i d e n r e i c h. Heidenrich. Heidenrich. Yes. Heidenrich. 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 Jesse, congrats, man. Congratulations. So, Jesse, what you need to do is you need to send me a message on Facebook Messenger to the Vapor Chronicles, and it needs to have your name, your address, your telephone number, and your email address. Name, address, telephone number, and email oh, address. No picture ID? No social security I number? Haven't... You don't need it from Jesse. I don't need it from Jesse because Mike said so. But yeah, picture of your photo ID. Send it to me on Facebook Messenger, The Vapor Chronicles, and I'll send that information over to Geek Vape, and they're going to send out the winning to you directly from Geek Vape. Wherever you live, whoever you are, you're going to get it. So there you go. Congratulations. We'd like to thank Geek Vape for sponsoring the Vape Team. And, uh, yeah. I'm just saying, whenever you, if you ever get, like, a brand new car on your credit report, just saying. And next week on the show, we're actually going to have more giveaways. we got something special planned for next week. It should be pretty exciting. Um, yeah. That's what the it. Fuck is this? Next week, I think we're going to have a good, very good possibility we're going to do a Chroma. Not Chroma, a Proton giveaway from Minikin. There we go. Brand new Proton from Minikin mm -hmm. giveaway next week on the show. Plus, we're going to do another, probably another Zeus giveaway next week. And just to celebrate our sponsorship with Geek Vape, Mark, Mark has a special little presentation that he's going to give right now. Right go, now. Go ahead, Bulk. Uh, the winner, by the way, happens to live in North Korea. Oh, really? Yep. Bulk, 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 Bulk. <laughs>
Are we seriously doing this bulk thing every Thursday? Get the music going. Yes. Dude, this is the most popular part of the show. People love it. They come just for the bulk. There's, dude, there's bulk of maniacs that are out there across the world. Even in North Korea, there's probably bulk of maniacs. Yep. Especially North Korea. Bulk yep. of maniacs. Look at the chat. All right, I need music. Hold on. There's, there's like literally 150 dudes right now that have a lot of lotion, and they're sitting there waiting for this to start. I actually believe that. I believe there are a few. Not that I'm against homosexuals, but I'm pretty sure there's a few homos out there that are probably checking Here off. We fuck, Mark. I said I'm not against homosexuals. All right, so give them the show they deserve. Then pleasure them and their week. Start off their pre-Friday ritual, man. All right, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta find something like. They probably have the scented candles going. I'm going to sit back and, and take this all in. I want to see you rip, rip that Walmart Ed Hardy off. Hey, I'll do it different. I'll do it slow. Yeah. Make, make it sensual. <clears throat> yeah. No, we need bulk style, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Let's see that belly button. Mm, yeah, there she is. Uh, <laughs> we need to get him a hula hoop, Mike. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we should give those shirts away. Look at them. go well let's give let's give the bulk a round of applause ladies and gentlemen he deserves oh, it God. you are a sexy son of a bitch dude i need to stop squeezing my tits together because they look fucking real like uh, x1 real. in the chat if anybody wants to win that t-shirt you can always stitch it or put buttons on it you can have it <laughs> mm -hmm. oh man you should take some viagra before the show because i know that shit's not working <laughs> 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 I can Yo. sew this up and use it again next week. You there know? you go. You can get Velcro and rip off your pants, too. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, when we started the vape team almost three years ago, did you ever envision that this is where we'd end up? Nope. Oh, here come the X1s for the t-shirt. There we go. Mark, ever since you joined us as a special guest, you really added a certain special something to the show. Real special. Yeah. You can say that again. So thanks for being our guest. Nope. Thank you for allowing me to be the guest. <laughs> You've been a great guest. Uh, we just got a donation that's flying by. What did that say? Why isn't Mark doing this to real American? Yeah, why aren't you? Get some new music. No, you can't. That's got to be copyright music. Yeah, that's copyright free music. Oh, okay. That was American. Was it? What's not American about that? I think it, there's a song called Real American, Real American. Oh, maybe we could yeah. do like some Eye of the Tiger next week. Mm. Like, I don't know. Someone said X2 to have that shirt sent to Jay Hayes. Dude, it's funny because when I, when I grab this shirt out of the closet, I'm like, holy shit, this is Jay's shirt. <laughs> Did you leave it at your house when you guys spent that weekend together or what? I think I bought it at the store that he shops at. Nice. There you go. There, uh, Trey is in chat saying, Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> is that, it has that like 80s like midlife crisis kind of look to it. Like, I'm old, but I want to still look young. It actually it has that grandma gown look to it right now. Like, it's yeah, got that I little... am a real American. That's the song. Yeah. All right. Dude, it looks good as a fucking uh, as a button down. Look at that! <laughs> you fucking tore it straight down the center too. It was a perfect tear. Um, Hulk Hogan's theme song had Brian sing it. Jonathan Smith, a dollar ninety nine. So there you go. I don't know. If, are we allowed to sing songs? Jay yeah. says, "Fuck you." My shirts are twenty two dollars a piece. This one cost me around twenty two bucks. There you go. I need a tan like on my chest and my stomach area. It's you should start go, going tanning for the show just to put that extra effort in. Or at least a spray tan. Yeah. Yo, we should spray tan you on the show. That would be fun. Let's do it. Angela. Call Angela, Mark. 
for the three year birthday extravaganza. Yo, Mike, spray tanning Mark for the three year birthday extravaganza. Mm-hmm. I can you know, lay outside in a pair of thongs and you guys can spray tan me. So do you need to have like the vape team tattooed on your chest so when you do bulk? <laughs> or just use the vape team there. Yep. Definitely. X1, Actually, if you guys want to see the tattoo of the vape team on his chest. <clears throat> And I'm going to contact some of our sponsors and see if we can set up something a lot more special for the three-year anniversary for the show. And we'll, we'll have like a huge, massive chat giveaway that night. And we'll just, we'll just run the tables and give it a ton of stuff away just to celebrate. And the other thing, hold on one second. I'm well, working on this. Mark, what are you doing? Check I out this. Woman. You guys ready? I'm ready. I'm working on this right now. Yes. There we go. Yes. Pretty awesome shirt. Sure. There we go. That's a badass shirt. So I'm never sleeping. I'm always planning, plotting, scheming. Mark is sexy. Mike is a fucking icon. And yeah, that's the vape team. The show is finished this week, everybody. Thanks for coming out, joining us for another Thursday night. And we will be back, same vape time, same vape channel, next Thursday night. And thanks for watching. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Mike. You. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. I'll send your shirt back, Jay. Sorry. <laughs> there you go. Oh, so you weren't joking? Jay sent you that shirt? Yep, this is his. It's actually a mixture of Heavy and Jay together. Something Andrew would wear with the big tiger on it. It's look, it looks like you're ready to go like clubbing and then maybe like jump out the window of the club with a wingsuit on or something. I look like a... Maybe hit on like an 18-year-old. I look like a middle-aged... Fucking loser? <laughs> <laughs> look at you with your fucking hat sideways. Like a hipster crackhead. Yeah. What's up, man? Looking to get up on some of that dick? <laughs> you want to smoke a rock and fuck? <laughs> okay, we're going we're gonna to cut it, because this is... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your rocks, Mark. We'll see you next week. Get your rocks off. Bye, everybody. Get your rocks off. Get your rocks off. Get your rocks off. <laughs> Somebody said it looks like a Nickelback fan shirt. Here we go. chest to make it look a little bit more realistic. You have beautiful breasts for men. They are so puppy. They are so breast? Yes? Ooh, nice. Hi, puppy. You have big breasts, very heavy. Delicious. I maybe stick penis in mouth, yes? Maybe you kiss? Maybe you kiss my behind? Gates <laughs> open, baby. Gates open. <laughs> ST is waiting for his shiny. ST is the shiny. Relax, everyone. People are screaming after show, Brian. Papi Chula. I think you're disappointing them. Mark, your middle name is Disappointment. Actually, it is. Mark Disappointment Fagan. Mark MTF. <laughs> MTF. Hmm. Why don't you say goodbye to everybody, Mark? Goodbye, everybody, Mark. Bye, everybody, Mark. <laughs>